You're about to be shocked at how simple this tessellation really is to draw. Here's the same thing drawn on Illustrator. Notice these three lines pointing down make up an arrow shape. The same thing is repeated to the right and then again to the left. And that's the secret to this whole tessellation. So place a mark halfway along these edges. Start right down in the bottom of your page. Here's my starting point. So draw one whole length and then a half. And then from there we're going to go one edge and down a half. Up again, extend a half. So we're going to repeat that as far as you can across your page. These points will all be where we'll draw columns of shapes. Let's start with the first column. Draw your arrow, start with a head and finish with a line in the middle of the split. Rotate. This is really important. Rotate until the dip the little dent in the plastic lines up with your starting point and that tells you what angle to draw the next arrow. Draw the head of the arrow and then down along the split. Rotate again. Make sure that that little dip lines up again and start with the head and draw the split and that's as hard as it gets. We just need to repeat that. Let's find the center of the top. Diagonals find the center, so let's sketch a very light line across. You could use a ruler if you want to be more accurate, but guessing it's probably close enough. Let's extend that. There's the center. That's where we're starting the next construction. So we draw the head of the arrow straight up, rotate, line up, and draw the second arrow. Now it's really important that you keep the splat touching the pencil. Here's what it looks like if it drifts off, so make sure that's tight up against the pencil and we are finished the second construction finding the center again well this time you may start to run out of room so just draw in as much of those arrows that you can fit in your page when you reach the top go down to your next starting point and repeat exactly the same thing i know this looks weird but you'll get the idea it's really not that tricky um, here i'm drawing i'm finishing the first construction and I'm going to pop upwards again and when you get the second column done suddenly you will see how this whole thing fits together. Now I'm drawing it quite dark so that you can see my lines but ideally you draw it lightly and then I would uh, with a dark pencil or a black pencil or a texture you could go over it with a ruler and really tidy it all up. So I'm just finishing my third column here. Runs off the page but that's okay. So each of these columns is drawn exactly the same way. They're just slightly out of step with each other. And that's what makes it look really cool. If you'd like to fill your page all the way down, then erase some of these lines and draw more arrows simply facing to the right and to the left. To fill the right hand edge of the page, face the splat over to the left like this and then finish up with the down arrows. Now your drawing's finished, make a dark line around the outside of each of the Y shapes. I would use a ruler and a pencil if you really wanted to tidy that up. Maybe you'll need to make some adjustments. Here I'm using a 2B pencil to shade because it allows me to come back and, and smudge to get an even finish. Great, so I'm using the splat as a shield to get a nice straight line there. Teachers and educators get a really good deal when you buy box sets of splats, 30 coloured or 20 clear. I'm Glennie D. Thanks for joining in today. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.